and welcome back to the Paul Olden Details channel and welcome back to the Pratt Cave. A happy new year to everybody and hope you all had a wonderful Christmas or holiday season if you're in America. Anyway, we begin this video with a question and it's a question to myself. I've been doing this a long time and I've been doing cars for a very, very long time and I don't want to talk about age because it's a sore subject, but I've often wondered how do I compare to a pro detailer? I don't do this every day of the week. I don't do it for a living. And I want to get some tips. I want to improve my game. I want to up it. So how do I really compare? Can somebody who's pretty much self-taught be compared to a pro detailer? And I'm going to be answering that question during the course of this video with a helping hand of some new products, or should I say a couple of new products, but one you might have seen before, some you may not. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, we've got Clean All from Autoglim. Thanks to Mark for sending this down very, very quickly. Sad they couldn't get this video out during the Christmas period, but it is coming very, very soon because you're just about to see it. Anyway, this is Clean All uh, from the uh, professional range from Autoglim. They're APC. So I balance it on my mountain bike. No, it's not going to sit there. It can sit down there. There it goes. And this one, now I've got the blue one, which is the dilutable uh, wheel cleaner, but this is the acid wheel cleaner. <gasps> Shock horror, acid wheel cleaner. Yeah, not really been featured on the channel at all, but heard really, really good things about this acid wheel cleaner. So that's from Auto Glim. Balance that down there. We've also got the uh, shampoo, the ultra high definition shampoo, yes. Very, very snazzy box. That's from Auto Glim. And the stuff I can't really show you is actually from AutoSmart. And that's the stuff that my mate Terry bought along. Kind of their bread and butter products. And if you're in Valentin and pro detailing, you obviously would have heard of Auto Glim and you definitely would have heard of AutoSmart. So this car has not been cleaned for six months. And I know people are going to go, oh, hang on a minute. It's a crazy fun now. Not just a fun now. This car has definitely not been cleaned for six months because the car is a relative of Terry's. Shame on you, Terry. And the reason he hasn't cleaned it is because the relation says, no, don't do any more cars, put your feet up. Well, he's not gonna put his feet up today because we're gonna get this thing clean. So, enough talking. Get yourself a brew or finish off the drink that's at the back of the cupboard which you haven't finished off yet. Go and grab one of those, creme de month top, something like that, and roll the blooming video. So here we go then, six months worth of neglect versus pro detailer and semi-pro detailer. Me being the semi, no, not, not the semi, you know what I mean, the semi-pro. All right, amateur. Yeah, versus this, organic matter, build up. We've got tar spots, road grime. Baked on brake dust, oh, my favorite. And organic matter in the roof. Yeah, apparently this car is white. Yeah, that's been neglected for a very, very long time. There's a lot of build-up of crud. So nice and grey, a bit like the UK. Grey and miserable. We have got some colour, though. This stuff. And on the front of the car, it's not too bad. No bug spats, because it's too blooming cold. So this is Terry, he does this for a living. He's not on social media. Shame on you, Terry. Auto Glim's Clean All and the Acid Wheel Cleaner. But before we touch those chemicals, Terry is gonna rinse down the barrels of the wheels and the back of the spokes and blast out as much of that traffic film and baked on brake dust as possible. Give your chemicals a chance. I've mentioned this in so many videos. So I know I get asked this a lot about the Arva. On the end of that gun, you've got a swivel attachment with a 25 degree nozzle. You want to check out the video about that. I'll put it up above. And it should answer all your questions about the Arva attachments. Now I believe the wheel acid was one, two, eight on the day. You can experiment with that. You can make it stronger if you want. If you've got some really nasty rims, the first thing you'll do, you'll use the acid wheel cleaner on the wheel and then you'll use the APC on the tire. Now, all the time he's doing this, 
be cleaning somewhere else. And that gives the chemical on the wheel a fighting chance to break down the grime. And it then moves on to the wheel arch area and gives that a good scrub after pre-spraying that with the all-purpose cleaner. And you can then clean out the brushes. Now we can go on to the rim. Easy brushes all of the day. He's more of an easy brush man rather than the wheel willies. These are, once again, chemical resistant brushes. Once you've cleaned your brushes out and you've finished for the day, stand them in a bucket of very warm water and they will return back to how they were when you got them, or near enough. In other words, the bristles will stand out and they look like a Christmas tree. I just hope you haven't got a blue Christmas tree. Chemical resistant brush, once again, cleaning the lug nut areas. That's from Garage Therapy. Don't use a standard detailing brush, i.e. one of those creamy looking things with a red collar. It will just disintegrate before your very eyes. So we've got an old wash mitt. You can, of course, use a proper wash mitt, i.e. a wheel mitt. They're a lot smaller and easier to get around the back of the spokes. Terry has human hands, unlike me, who have the gorilla hands, who are a lot bigger. So up until now, not a lot different to how I do things. He does use a pressure washer, probably more efficiently than I do. And that's the result on the first rim. Not bad, eh? No fallout remover, nothing, just the wheel cleaner. Oh dear. Well, if I'm gonna get involved, why not get involved like this? Yes, of course I did the same on the other side. I wanna use the chemicals as well. I can let you guys know exactly what they're like to use. Yes, they are fairly pongy. Not as bad as fallout remover though, I've got to tell you. And we are still using the rim mats. They're sitting underneath each wheel. Save your knuckles. Next up is to remove the organic matter from the filler cap before we go in there with any chemicals and detailing brushes. So back on the APC, the clean all product. One to eight ratio with this. Mind you, look at the colour of that. It could be one to six. Just experiment with APCs. If it's not shifting it, then just make it a bit stronger. Once again, going in with a detailing brush. I'm going to agitate this organic grime as much as possible. Don't forget your struts. So this was interesting, he did the top lip of the bumper. That's something I don't actually do. I tend to do that after when I'm doing the rest of the pre-wash. Take your nozzle off your pressure washer and just gently wash it out. So this was a tip I actually gave Terry. Literally, I gave him a tip. The Valet Pro ones, these have got sponge on the end, like little lolly sticks, and you can get to that little bit of a groove right in the bottom there. Yep, yeah, he's done it. Look at that. Not bad, eh? And of course, the top lip, he's done it. So the rest of the pre-wash we get done on the exterior of the car, and he'll pick up the last bit on the bumper when we go in the back of the car. So because I am rather tall in the leg department, it's my job to go and get the pre-wash on the roof. We're gonna allow this a good five minutes to dwell and start eating into that horrible, nasty grime before I go and get my set of steps out to film the roof. So this was brought to you by a man perilously standing on a set of steps in the wind. And I lost count of how many times I cleaned my lens. So notice once again, using a narrow nozzle. 
This must have been parked under some sort of a pine tree. The one thing you'll notice is the speed that Terry works. He uses a pressure washer, he goes quite slow. Give it a chance to just blast out that crud. Wait for it. Something's gonna come out of that roof. There it goes, oh. Yeah, we lost quite a few of those on the day. We found them all eventually. So the reason for really going to town on these roof rails is to get out all that crud. We don't want any of that going in the wash mitt when we go to do the two bucket wash. That's the last thing you need, picking up junk in your wash mitt. So there is a little bit of a groove in the top of your windscreen there and that collects junk. It's normally brown or green. Lots and lots of people forget that. Yeah, I know some people pick it up and they get a detailing brush during the pre-wash. Chose to blast it out. Next up, I'm back on the pump sprayer and I'm gonna then coat this car around the sides and around the back of the car and then we're gonna blast it off. Told you he was camera shy. He's coming around to check on my work. I know he's checking on me. I know he's checking on me. So in the background, there was a blue thing on the floor. That is the steamer. I put that on first thing in the morning. No, we're not making tea. I actually thought I was gonna need that for the window rubbers. Shocker, didn't need it. So Auto Glim actually make a TFR, a traffic film remover. And I was talking to Mark about this before he sent this down. He said, you don't need it. Just use the clean all. I already had some clean all and he just sent me down another one for a top up. Thank you, Mark. So that is what I was going to use the steamer for. Didn't actually need it in the end. This product's so powerful and the pressure washer that you don't actually need it. Now on my dad's car, if you want to check that video out, that was really bad. I had to use the steamer on that. So there is no real sound on this video. It's a slight bit of sound, but it was so windy, all you'd have heard was wind noise. And maybe all, all of us guys talking about our love lives. And nobody wants to hear about that, do they? So there was three of us doing this. I say three of us. Sean, my mate, turned up, the one with the very, very fast mini, and he provided the food. And he turned up late, thanks to a hangover. Sorry, Sean, I had to mention it. So there you go, that's the 
So I mentioned the front end of the car wasn't that bad, but when I actually look back at the footage, it wasn't great either. We did notice one thing during the course of the pre-wash, it got to work on the headlights, which removed some of that horrible brown residue. So what's next up is the door shut areas. We're gonna blast out the door rubbers. Those holes at the bottom, they can, and the drain holes, they can get bunged up with grime, and then your doors rust inside out. Yay, food's arrived, thanks, Sean. Next up is high definition, or ultra high definition, shampoo from Auto Glim. You can use this in your lance, but on the day we choose to use this in our buckets, i.e wash bucket share between two people. I have never had as so much fun getting my hands wet. That sounded wrong. This was really, really good fun. If you get to do this with your mates, if you're into detailing, you're into valeting, and you like just mucking around with cars for the day, do this. Yeah, it's good fun. Smile for the camera, guys. So this stuff is super glidey, and it the smell is unbelievable. It's very, very silky to the touch. I don't normally do this. I normally just put the shampoo in, but I ran this through my fingers. Top end shampoo this, guys. Really is nice stuff to use. Hang on, that's my job. A third mitt involved in this, right down the bottom on the sill section. Don't use decent mitts, just in case you pick up any crud. Next up, it's a rinse. In the background, you'll see some black clouds threatening. Oh no, please don't rain, please don't rain. See my wonky steps in the background? Yeah. So next up is Red 7. This is the fallout remover. We're gonna switch brands now. We're gonna move over to AutoSmart. So Terry does this for a living. He tends to use AutoSmart products pretty much on a daily basis. What you'll find in the motor trade. Gonna coat the entire car and we're just gonna wait for that chemical reaction. So we're not machine polishing this, but this is just part of the decon stage. It makes a big difference in the color transformation on the car, believe it or not. So this was after around about three minutes. And this will get darker. That is a chemical reaction. If you're wondering why it looks a bit yellow, it's because the sun was doing some crazy things on a rather stormy day. Next up, he does something different to how I do it. He actually washes the product back in, which is interesting. So apparently this will provide a better coverage. He'll get into all the nooks and crannies and he definitely knows it's covered all the panels. It's a way of spreading the product around. I've done this with Garage Therapy's Iron Oxide. But wait till the chemical reactions actually worked. Don't do it during it's trying to react. Let it react, break down all the fallout and then do it. But spread it across your panels and then finally rinse it again, which is what Terry is doing right now. It's getting darker. It's going to rain. I know it. So he's actually switched now. He's gone to a 40 degree, a wider fan. And we're going to move on to this. This is TARDIS. I've had this sat in my Pratco for a while. So you can do this a different way. You can actually spray it onto like a makeup pad and then stick the makeup pad on the actual task box if you haven't got that many of them. But on this car, 
not been cleaned for six months. We've got a fair build up of this stuff. Camera doesn't really do it justice with tile spots. It's quite difficult to nail these. You can see it running down the door, look. And then rinse it off after you've microfibered it first. And don't use your new microfibers. So Terry's doing the front of the car. I'm then going to go around there and rinse it off where he's just removed the tar spots. Next up, this is Cobalt. This is the quick detailer from AutoSmart or a drying aid as well. So he liberally sprays this around the car. And then I'm going to follow it up with a drying towel and then go around the car. You can, of course, follow this up with an air blower if you want. Pet blower, if you've got one. Next up, this is Matrix recharge now this is a ceramic spray sealant terry uses this normally for top-ups or you can use it as a standalone sealant which is what we're going to do for ceramic coated cars now expect to get six months out of this but if you carefully look on the bonnet there was a little bit of water and that's because it started to rain it was like a light spray when you apply this you want to apply it via the microfiber and then follow up with a secondary microfiber if you can get yourself one of these I was going to say a cheap gag there and call him Terry Towling, but that'd just be wrong. Follow it up with a Terry, oh yeah, secondary cloth, and then just buff it off. So you're going to want two cloths for this. So I'm going to work it into the panels, and then Terry is going to come around and then just wipe it off and buff it. It does kind of flash off pretty quick, this stuff, and you can feel it underneath the microfiber. And by the way, those are Rag Company microfibers courteous of Darren the hairy housewife so I'm going to give a couple of shout outs in fact I want to give three shout outs while you're watching me buff the rest of this car garage therapy Maz thank you for coming down to see me over the Christmas spirit and thanks for the lunch also supercharged llama Adrian for coming down to see me over Christmas and Darren Fitch, the hairy housewife himself, he came down as well. Great to see you guys. Great to get involved with the community and see everybody at the end of the year and catch up with all their detailing stories. Right, now this is high style. This is the silicon based tyre dressing. Apply it with your Casco puck and you are done. And now we're going to see all the before and afters, and I'm going to join you back in the Pratt Cave for the summary. I'll see you in a bit.
Yes, that car was Captain Mingworthy. Yes, that is a word, Mingworthy. What a rotter. And we got it done just in time. This happened just after I packed up. Yeah, it fell down. Typical British weather. We're okay. If we get a hosepipe ban, I'll tell you what, if we get a hosepipe ban, I'm right into Anglian water. I do not want a hosepipe ban. We've had too much rain. Anyway, enough about droughts and hosepipe bans. Let's get on with the products in hand. So the clean oil product, which is down here. So I pick up the, the right one and not the acid wheel cleaner, Paul. And there it goes. Uh, it's been featured on the channel before. Fantastic all-purpose cleaner. You can use this on interiors and exteriors. I suppose this was one to eight on the day, if I remember correctly, uh, as a dilution rate. Pre-spray the car, allow it to dwell, and then you're good to go. Now, the interesting thing about this, when I was working with Terry, is he works very slightly differently to me. When we were doing the wheels, he seems to let the products dwell a lot longer than I do. Now, that might be something to do with habit when I'm filming. Um, you know, I, I leave them on the wheel, and I'll give you some times with guidelines, the, the true times, but the actual... Reality is when we were doing it that the product seemed to sit on the car far longer and he actually yielded some really, really good results. Now the acid wheel cleaner, the clean oil stuff is very, very good. Um, there's lots and lots of shots of that during the course of this video, obviously. The acid wheel cleaner, now word of warning, precaution, don't use it on diamond cut alloys. That's fairly sensible. Um, on real bad wheels like the ones we were using it on, not been touched for months. Um, you will get that acidy smell. You can you can definitely tell it's an acid. Definitely wear gloves. Protect yourself. If you make it too strong, I would probably wear a mask. It's not like oh, it won't choke you to bits. You know, you're not going to cough up blood or anything. Don't you know? It's not that bad. It's user friendly. You can actually use it in maintenance washes, believe it or not. You have to dilute it. I think it's like one to ten. Um, on the day, I think we probably had it like one to six, which is pretty strong. But it did an amazing job. Very, very impressed by that stuff. Just get yourself PPE'd up. If you don't know what PPE is, personal protection equipment. There you go. Every day's a school day here. So that was the acid wheel cleaner. When it comes to the shampoo, which is sitting behind me, what a smell. This is like this real beautiful, fruity, fragrant smell. I know it's not, everyone's gonna go, oh, you know, it smells whoopee do. But I actually ran this through my fingers and it's got this real silky touch this shampoo i have to do a car shampoo because i don't use it on my head and this stuff is very very good uh, now this was uh four capfuls i believe yeah four capfuls to 10 liters of warm water if you're double lard if you're from essex you can use cold use cold on the day because obviously I'm, I'm from essex but this stuff was really nice super glidey worked very very well and it cleaned up the the remainder of the stuff that was still on the car the cleaner was very very good now this, this might be down to my actual pre-spraying technique there's a few little streaks around the back bumper nothing major uh, but this was very very good and the smell is sublime really really good stuff that now that, that's the actual auto glim stuff. When it comes to the auto smart, which I don't have to hand, um, the stuff we used was uh, Red 7, which I've got on the shelf, used that before on the bodywork, which really bled. And that's when it starts bringing the color back to the car, that sort of yellow tarnish on the car, that um, discoloration, my, that's a big word, Paul. Um, that was gone, you know, it was just, it bought all that white back. Really, really good Red 7. I've been using it for a while now. Um, and interestingly enough, now this was one of the things I found that Terry does, is he will use the wash mitt over the top of the fallout remover, and then he's spreading it even further. Now, the only time I've ever done that is with the iron oxide from Gary's Therapy. I've never actually done it with any other fallouts. So that's a top tip for you. Another tip which I found out on the day was spraying TARDIS, tar spot remover in the door shuts. That's something else he does on a regular basis. So something he's always done. That's where you're gonna get tar, why not? Yeah, we did the outside of the car and we did the door shuts, but that's another top tip. And drying aid, that was cobalt. That was the auto smart when I was drying the car. And it was a little bit, you could feel it in the air. We thought oh, we're gonna get wet in a minute and it just held off enough to use the matrix, which is the sealant, the ceramic sealant. Now. Longevity wise, you should get six months from the sealant because we had this dampness in the air and it did start to spit a bit. That's gonna dramatically come down. You know, you're probably talking just a couple of months. So I'd like to go back to that sealant. It's something I use a lot of. 
Um, I use it for top ups on ceramic coated cars and also just use it as a you know, one hitter. So I would like to go back to that product. And then of course you have the high style uh, tire shine, which is a silicon based dressing, not to everyone's cup of tea, but very, very widely used. Very, very easy to put on. Put it on the tires, roll the car forward, do the bottom bit, which everybody misses and you're good to go. And that was it pretty much. So I did get some tips throughout the, the day. Lots of it I have banked up there, but predominantly we had a chat about it and it, it was kind of like, we don't really do a lot different. So I think I'm on the right track. I should hope so, I'll just have to cancel the channel altogether. Anyway, fantastic day was had by all and you're gonna see Terry in another video featuring a major brand. So stay tuned for that one. That's in the planning stage at the moment. Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe, if you haven't subscribed, hit the notification bell for future uploads and please comment, get involved in the comment section and I will see you again on another video. Drive safe and I'll see you soon. Ta-da!